everybody, and welcome back to Front Kicked MMA. Today, we'll be taking a look into the past and present belt system in the UFC. The vast majority of UFC fighters dream of having 10 pounds of gold wrapped around their waist. To obtain this milestone and become one of the very few people on this earth to etch your name in the history books, you must beat a current champion, win an interim championship, or fight for a vacant belt. Preceding this, they can further build their legacy by adding title defenses. But do UFC fighters get to keep their belts? There are two different belts, the UFC Classic Championship belt and the UFC Legacy Championship belt. The Classic belt was utilized from 2001 to 2018, and the Legacy belt was introduced following UFC's 25th anniversary. The Classic belt may have seemed more familiar when the Legacy belt was first announced. However, it's quite bland in comparison, and the consensus is that the Legacy belt has grown on MMA fans in the past few years. Prior to 2019, with each championship win, the winner would receive a new belt, so a decorated fighter such as John Jones would have a tidy 12 legacy belts in his trophy cabinet. How many belts would a champ champ get? Conor McGregor, the first simultaneous two-division UFC champion, would have gotten a belt for his featherweight victory over Jose Aldo and another for his triumph at lightweight against Eddie Alvarez. As he famously said, I'm gonna wrap one on one shoulder, I'm gonna wrap the other on the other shoulder, and you're gonna need a fucking army to come take them belts off me. The legacy belt is catered to each individual with their country, weight class, and number of title defenses displayed on the belt. This makes it all the more special for the athlete. It's the small details that make a big difference. 25 stones are featured around the center plate to symbolize the 25th anniversary of the UFC when the legacy belt was created. The first eight countries to have a UFC champion are represented on the belt by their country's flags, as well as the UFC's inaugural year, which is showcased at the bottom of the belt in Roman numerals. There are two plates on the belt, one on each side, both of which are actually shaped like an octagon. Hence, eight sides and eight corners, giving space for eight stones. The left plate will be used first, which for every victory in a championship bout, the stone will be replaced by a red stone, to be precise, a ruby. Etched alongside each stone will be the date and location of each victory. If a fighter is dominant enough in their division and racks up eight championship wins, they'll now look to replace the eight stones on the right plate. Fighters will not receive a new belt after each championship win, but will receive one belt per weight class for a championship win. A rare occurrence in the world of MMA, not many can claim this feat. Most notably, Khabib Nurmagomedov, George St. Pierre, and Henry Cejudo. So if a fighter walks away as the undisputed champion, what implications does this have? If we're referencing the classic belt era, they'd get to keep all the belts they received. In regards to the legacy belt, they'd get to keep the belt along with all the red stones they'd earned. However, obviously, this isn't the only issue that would arise. The fighter would no longer be the reigning defending champion, and the belt would become vacant in the division. If there's a current interim champion, they may be promoted to undisputed champion, Otherwise, two of the top contenders in the division would compete for the vacant belt. Whoever's deemed the champion after all of this will get a new legacy championship belt of their own. There have been many long reigns during UFC's history, however, the most memorable and longest run would surely have to go to Anderson Silva at 2,457 days, which is an astounding six-plus years at the top of the mountain. However, this isn't exactly what we're questioning here. What we want to know is how long can you hold a belt while being inactive? In recent times, Tony Ferguson and Colby Covington were stripped of their interim belts 
both due to injury, which did spark some debate within the MMA community. However, the UFC doesn't really have any guidelines set in stone for how long a champion can be inactive before being stripped. Although if they know a champion is going to be out for, let's say, a period of 12 months, they'll create an interim belt in an attempt to stop the division in question from being held up. To sum up the video, yes, UFC champions do get to keep their belts. With the classic championship belt, they get to keep a belt for every title defense. However, with the new legacy championship belt, they only have one belt, which they'll keep adding rubies to for each championship win. Retiring fighters will also get to keep their belts, and the same goes for inactive champions who've been stripped. To end, we'll leave you with a question. Valentina Shevchenko leads the pack for rubies with seven at the time of making this video. Do you know who the others with multiple rubies are? And think we'll ever see anyone fill the belt? Let us know down below in the comments. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe if you're new around here, and click the bell to turn on notifications to make sure you don't miss our next video. Oh, and if you want to essentially read the text version of this video, then please click the link in the description to read this article along with many more. That's all for today. We'll see you guys in the next one.